and welcome to my evening routine. One of my main goals for this year is to establish and maintain both morning and evening routines that prioritize calm, nourishment, and coziness, and which are made up of habits that are really beneficial to my physical and my mental health. So that's what I'm aiming to do in this evening routine. For the most part, I want these routines to remain consistent, but elements of them will change with the seasons. This is my winter evening routine, so I put more of a focus on cozy indoor activities when in the warmer seasons that won't be as much of a focus. I made this salad and I served it with some rosemary focaccia that we picked up at a bakery this afternoon. This bread is honestly the most incredible thing. It's so delicious. After dinner, I just clean the kitchen. I am definitely very, very messy when I cook, so it's always quite a big task, but you know, you gotta do it. <laughs> And then I sat down to finish my work for the evening. I try to finish any tasks I'm in the middle of so I don't have to worry about them. And I also like to go through and respond to any emails I've received throughout the day. I'm somebody who can get quite overwhelmed by emails pretty easily. So it's really nice to have my inbox sorted before bed. And then I worked on my puzzle for a bit while I just watched a YouTube video. My goal is to have this part of the evening be the last time I use my computer each night, unless I want to have like a movie night before bed or something. Some nights are more successful than others, but it's something I'm working on because I notice a really big difference when I turn off my computer earlier in the evening. This part of the evening isn't necessarily reserved for puzzling, but just for something that I enjoy doing, and that is just for me. So I usually do a puzzle or some kind of crafting, like crocheting, knitting, embroidering, or something like that. Then I went upstairs and tidied my room quickly before I took a shower. And after I got out of the shower, I used coconut oil all over my body, and then I did my skincare routine. I washed my face in the shower and then I put on some pretty heavy moisturizers because the winter cold dries out my skin so much. bedroom to just be nice and cozy for the evening. So I put this little heated neck wrap in my bed and covered it up so it can make my bed nice and warm before I get into it. And then I turned off the main lights in my room and turned on fairy lights and lit candles. 
this is something I've been doing recently to embrace the early darkness of winter and see it as cozy instead of <laughs> kind of depressing. I've been trying to set a little journaling routine in the morning and in the evening. So in the evening, I just write down three good things that happened that day and also anything that may be stressing me out and what, if anything, I can do about it. It helps me to get out of my head so I can sleep a little bit better. I finished a book this afternoon, so I started a new one tonight. I decided to pick up Green Glass House and it is just so charming and I'm really, really enjoying it so far. Despite the fact that I love reading so much, I was often falling into a trap of doom scrolling and just wasting time on my phone or my computer for a while before bed instead of reading, and it always left me feeling kind of down and sleeping poorly. So that's a habit I'm actively changing, and it's been wonderful. going to sleep I just put on some lip balm and some hand cream and then I turned on a sleep meditation. I usually fall asleep like 15 minutes into these but even that little bit of time is really really helpful. And then around 10 30 I go to bed. And that is my winter evening routine. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I hope you're all doing well and that you have a wonderful rest of your day.